What's going on guys, it's JSGC here and we're here for the final match preview of the 2017-18 season for Manchester City. An away match on the South Coast against Southampton. There's so little playing on the Premier League fixtures this week but... Uh, you know, we're on TV mainly because uh, Southampton can still go down. They needed a gold swing of 10 goals. That's not going to happen. Swansea aren't going to win, you know, 4 5 nil, and Man City are going to win uh, 5 6 nil. It's not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, Swansea are probably going to go down. So, Southampton will try and make this into a nip and tuck game. They're going to try and make it as scrappy as possible. Keep it at nil nil for as long as possible. Be as defensive as possible. Take no risks. They'll probably be targeting set pieces. Getting forward one or two players at a time and hoping that the forwards can do something. In, if I'm honest, it won't be a classic game uh, and hopefully Man City can break it down because I really want us to reach the 100 points. Remember, win this game, we do hit 100 points of total that might never get beaten in the Premier League ever again. We're obliterating, if we do win, 10 points on what the Arsenal's invincible side did. And we're obliterating by five points. That's a lot over a season, by the way. Five points on what Chelsea did in the 2004-05 season, they were very dominant. They were very, very dominant. If we can win this game, we're going to take the away records for the most away wins in a Premier League season. We'll be hitting 100 points. Every record will have come in our way and we'll have smashed every single record. Even Edison's taken world records. He's gone and kicked the longest drop kick in football ever. 75.3 metre kick. I imagine a lot of goalkeepers now will be targeting to try and beat him because he's coming to the limelight. I'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, in terms of this game though, I don't think we'll be seeing some of Man City's players that are hoping to uh, get some fitness for the World Cup because obviously they'll be rested. So we're not going to see Kun Aguero. I wouldn't have thought we're going to be seeing David Silva either. Obviously he's in Valencia. Uh, I, but, um, I don't really see a point in playing Edison either in this game. Because he went with Bravo last time. I see no reason for Edison to go in this one. He can't win the Golden Glove now. <sighs> Absolutely redundant, absolutely pointless playing him. May as well put Bravo in there. Again, players like Kyle Walker. I see no point in playing Kyle Walker in this game. I see no reason to play Company or Otamendi. Um, you know what I mean? This is where I'm going with this. I'm going to pop up my team prediction now for you and I'm going to talk through that. So I've gone for Bravo in goal. I've gone for right back to be Danilo because he was excellent on Wednesday night. I've gone for left back to be Zinchenko again. Again, uh, I'd probably give Delph a rest. You don't want him picking up any injuries. He's on the verge of getting in the England squad as well. So, again, I see no reason to risk him. I've gone for John Stones because he needs some minutes along with Laporte. Again, trying to boost his chance of getting into the French World Cup team. And then in the midfield, I don't think David Silva will be playing. So, I've gone for a midfield three. I've gone for Fernandinho, Gundogan and Kevin De Bruyne. Quite strong there. Uh, however, remember Fernandinho had a suspension. So, he still can get some games there. We've really not got a lot of cover for Fernandinho. We really do need to sign someone. Otherwise, I'd have had Fernandinho resting in this game. Gundogan will be looking to get some minutes boosted. Chances of getting in the Germany squad. And I've gone for De Bruyne just purely because he didn't play in the last game. And there's not a lot of other options there. I imagine we'll be seeing Brahim Diaz, uh, possibly Namicha, possibly Phil Foden off the bench as well. They'll be looking to get their five appearances, particularly for Diaz and Foden, so they can get their medal. Pep's already said, though, if they don't get a medal, he'll give him his. How generous. Uh, and then up front, I've gone for Bernardo Silva, Leira Sane and Gabriel Jesus. Again, I see no reason for Ryan Sterling to play. I would have put Sterling on the left, but I don't think he'd be that effective on the left. So I've gone for Leroy Sane just purely because he was so excellent on Wednesday night. And we want a bit of competitiveness there. We want to win this game. Leroy Sane can win games on his own. He's been phenomenal over the whole season. But that's my squad. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think your team prediction will be. Score prediction, like I said, nip and tuck. I'll go for 2-1 City. I think Southampton will be more than happy for that because they'll be staying up. They've achieved their aim. And Man City will have achieved their aim of getting to 100 points. Everyone's a winner, apart from Swansea. We are up against Mark Hughes, our former manager. So it'll be nice to go and beat him. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything to add on to it. It's a bit of a dead rubber, a holiday game for Man City. A little bit more meaning for Southampton. I imagine it's... Uh, do you know what I mean? I mean, it's a 10-goal 10, 10 difference swing. It's just not going to happen. So hopefully that'll mean that uh, they take it just a little bit easier on us and we'll be able to get the win that we need to get to 100 points because obviously we want this to we want to obliterate everything. I want to be the best. It's plain and simple as that. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But that's been the match preview. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Score and team predictions in the comments below. Any Southampton fans watching, let me know what you think of what you think will happen in the game. Again, put them in the comments below. Social media links there in the description. 
don't forget to check out my second channel gaming channel and my brother's partner channel doing mix uh mixology drinks mixes links to them will pop up at the end of the video you can click like and subscribe over there like i said leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel we're in for 500 subscribers and we really are not far away so if you could subscribe notifications on that would mean everything to me and if you have subscribed already much love thank you i'll see you all for the review final review of the season Enjoy the game. Enjoy your weekend. It's been JSGC at Pueblo. Wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Ciao for now. <laughs>